welcome to our Tuesday evening Facebook Live. We made it, finally. Let me put my other lights on. So I do apologise, I had every intention of being live this morning and then one of our cats went missing and he'd been spotted so um, I had to then disappear up to where he'd been spotted and of course he was nowhere to be seen so we hung around for an hour or so excuse me and uh, he didn't turn up but never mind he did turn up eventually um, this afternoon thank goodness um, back up at the farm that he was seen at so we bid a hasty exit up there collected him and he's now been uh, under house arrest for a little while shall we say anyway welcome to our live welcome to the day that our can annual catalogue goes live as well and this is tuesday the 3rd of may 2023 so thank you so much for joining us if you're joining live do say hi so that i know you're there um, with us if you're watching on replay or catch up then obviously thank you again for joining us but if you have any queries or comments then don't hesitate to um, add a comment ask any questions and I'll get back to you in due course so I'm just making sure that we are broadcasting to the rest of the world as I say, do say hi if you are live. And let's get cracking. So I have been using Bottled Happiness, which is this stamp set here. And this was the one that we used for coffee and card um, Monday, yesterday and last Friday. And I'm going to show you a different version of using this without the bottles but by using the stamparatus so i have that to share with you i also have uh, details <coughs> of our paper shares this allows you to have a little bit of each of our new designer papers that are in the annual catalogue so you get a quarter of each pack and so that might be 12 6 by 6 sheets or 6 12 by 6 inch sheets, depending on the format. There are two sets of papers that are 6 by 6 and that's the Butterfly Kisses and the Tea Boutique. Obviously they come as 6 by 6. Um, details for this will be sent up by email. But to let you know, it's £35.00. For a quarter share so there are um, 12 different packs of papers so <coughs> the price is higher obviously than the mini catalogue where there was only eight and you can have that posted to you for three pounds fifty or if you're able to collect it then there's no additional charge for posting so details of that will be coming out by email and I have some of the papers here, but what I will do is I will go through all of them when the extra papers arrived. So I was able to order um, any of the papers that weren't available on pre-order. So the Abigail, the Forest Friends, A Wash in Beauty, the linen papers, the textured papers. Um, so as soon as those are all in, I'll be able to do a little share online to show you the papers in person. I also have details of our In Colour Club and that allows you to build up a whole collection of products based around our new In Colours. And at the end of five months, for each of the colours, you'll have cardstock, ink, 
write markers, designer paper, blends, pens, glitter ribbon, decorative dots and glimmer paper. And details of that is also on its way out to you. If you order all of it up front, then you also get free five rolls of In Colour Baker's Twine. And then finally, as if that wasn't enough, there is a special joining offer that Stumping Up have announced today. And that is our standard starter kit, which is £99. And you get £130 of products of your choice. But in May, you also get in colour grid paper, the inks, the designer paper and the card included in your starter kit. And that's £62.50 worth of product. And that is just £99. So if that is of interest and you'd like to join our team and have fun creating with friends and being part of a supportive group, then don't hesitate to message me if that's of interest to you. Always welcoming um, new team members. Hi Chris, thanks for joining us. So this is our new annual catalogue. I'm not going to go through all the details with you today, other than to say it's got some fantastic products in there, some lovely new colours, some fantastic papers and some new accessories which I'll introduce you to over the next, uh, well, over the next year. Okay, so let's just get on and do some crafting. So this was the um, card that I created yesterday. Using a piece of white card, we stamped the bottle, stamped the flowers and the foliage added the message and the little colour dots to match. What I'm going to do today is use this element, but I'm going to pop it onto our Stamparatus, which is our stamp positioning tool that enables you to stamp multiple cards as well as being easier than trying to line this up every time. So let me bring this into play. So the, here is our Stamparatus. And I apologise if that is shining. Let me turn those lights round a little bit. That's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a stamp, uh, an ink pad under there for some support. And I'm going to pop our piece of card that we're going to stamp on onto here and I'm going to use the same position each time so I'm just going to put it up to the left hand side and I'm lining it up just above that stamping up logo and I've got magnets here that <coughs> excuse me that I can use you could also use washi tape I don't want is those to clip together really let's move that one out of the way you could also use washi tape or some low tack tape to hold that in place because the stamps that we're working with are clear stamps it means that we need some sort of extra support so I've got the foam mat underneath here that's a thick foam mat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop our stamp design on one side of our paper like so and because I'm not adding the bottle it doesn't really matter how I position that but what I'm going to do is turn this piece of card round so that I can print it on the other side so I'm just going to have that relatively along the central line and then I'm going to actually put a sentiment across the middle so what I'm going to do is bring this up and over the plate to pick up the flower image and I know this might attach itself to the paper because it's quite sticky okay so I'm just going to replace that 
along there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Orchid Oasis colour. It's still showing, isn't it? Sorry about that. There we go. Not quite as bad. Let's move that one out of the way. Hi, Zanna. Thanks for joining us. So I'm going to ink this up on the left hand side. So this is the Orchid Oasis. Like so. I've just got a little bit extra, a little bit extra, a lot extra of ink there. Okay, so I'm going to position that on my card. So this is thin basic white card. And I just pop that down there. Okay, like that. Now, if it wasn't deep enough, I could ink it up, for example. Or if I've missed a little bit, I could ink it up and then stamp it again. And because we haven't moved anything, it should stamp in exactly the same place, just in a darker tone. Now what I'm going to do is turn this paper round, line it up so the other side is open. And then I'm going to stamp it again here. Hi Tracy. Oops. Just put ink on my phone stand, my webcam stand. Okay, so I'm just inking this up. I hope you're well, Tracy, and happy birthday for yesterday. Okay, so I'm using the bottled happiness. Like so. And I had a feeling I was a little bit too close to that magnet, so I'm just going to press that down again. Okay, so now I've got two of that image. If I want to make that one a little bit darker, I can just re-ink that again. And obviously you don't need to, just depending on how new your stamp is and how new your ink is. Okay, so now I've got that in position, what I'm going to do is position the floral, um, the foliage going to leave this on here because then I can do other cards with that and I'm going to grab my second plate and pop this in like so might take that out of the way there and then I'm going to pop the foliage stamp onto here and this is where it's actually a lot easier than um, stamping because what I can do is I can literally take my stamp and put it onto the stamp underneath and look for the spaces that the um, the stamps fill and what I'm doing I appreciate you probably can't see it but I'm lining up the centres of those flowers with the centres of these. I'm going to bring the plate over to pick that up. And once you've done this, it doesn't matter what order you use. And again, it's a bit sticky, so... Hopefully hasn't moved too much. Let's just bring it over and have a look. Nope, it's not bad at all. So for this one I'm going to use Parakeet Party. But obviously you can use any colours. Hi Scott. Hope you're well. This is an easier way 
to line up these leaves and those flowers so I'm just going to pop that on there like so okay and it's a perfect fit and what I can do now is of course turn this round and because I'm using the same position to line it up with as I used earlier I can re-ink and add it onto there so once you've done the initial stamping it's really easy then to repeat this over and over again so now I've got a top and a bottom set of foliage and what I'm going to do is pop a die cut in the middle like so so that it looks like one full piece that goes from top to bottom but what I want to show you how quick now I can create a whole series of cards hi Kate long time no see you. I hope that you are well no doubt you've been really busy okay so now I can take another piece of card find one that hasn't got a little dent on it and I can change those colours completely without any extra work now what I would do if I was doing a lot of these is I would have one of my plates like that and then I would have my other plate in the bottom corner like that so that I could literally do that with one colour, that with the other colour. Okay, I just so happen to have put the plates in the same direction. And also with this, it doesn't matter then which one you do first. So let's change the colours out, just to show you how simple that is. So let us choose... A quite fancy gorgeous grape oh bless you Kate <laughs> well busy is good busy is good right let's just switch colors so I've got some garden green and gorgeous grape that I'm going to use for this one so I'm going to ink up the foliage I've got it all like so like that nice and crisp and now what I can do to save moving it and moving it around or whatever I can just take that plate and put this one back on as I say if I was doing this in quantities I would have the plates so that you could operate them one after the other without moving them round if that makes any sense okay so there's gorgeous grape like so perfect and now I can turn that the main thing is that you continue to line it up either with a grid line or you can draw or the other thing I do sometimes is I will take some washi tape and for example put assuming you're using the same um, paper size paper each time I would have put a piece like that and the piece like that example and especially if you're not doing it towards the edge there we go so I now know when I put that bit of paper back it will fit in there so if you haven't got grid lines um, or you've got some paper underneath that hasn't got any grid lines on then that's the way you can do that so now I can just take whichever one I've got there which is the gorgeous grape, ink it up, 
like so and then swap for the foliage so I bet Scott is wishing that I showed him this on Monday instead of him having to line everything up but you did a good job Scott there we go obviously you could have um, this plus a one of the bottles so I've just chosen to do this because I've got it set up um, so you could just carry on with lots of different colours. So this is Orchid Oasis and the new Parakeet Party. And then this one is Gorgeous Grape and Garden Green. Hi Katie and hi Catherine. Oh bless you. <laughs> yes, Facebook's doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things at the minute so hey ho right let me just clean this one off so this is as I say bottle happiness and you can do um, samples with the bottles as well so that might might be tomorrow's plan so I'm trying to find somewhere for that so I don't lose it and now what I can do is pop a sentiment onto here so I've got that one there that I've chosen which is a tag sentiment if I lift it up I am going to pop it onto dimensionals like so <laughs> oh I don't know Scott and obviously you can have these closer together and in fact I think these would actually work um, right up together so if I move this down a little bit by I don't know I moved it down by about six centimeters just measure the difference actually between those two is one centimeter so if I'd moved this one down by five centimeters it would have met just about in the middle without a gap so what I'm going to do is pop something onto this sentiment and obviously I've got this one here that I've already done and I wonder if the sending a little message will fit in there just let's grab a block so for anybody who was um saw my posting earlier on about my missing cat the cat has returned you'll be pleased to hear and that's why i wasn't live this morning as i was out cat hunting so i'm going to turn this over so i'm on the back just to see if this will fit because what i'm going to do is add some of the foliage in the corner I put it that side no maybe I'll just put it a little further in the middle there we go so I've got sending a little message like so And then that is going to go on to there and I could do the same with this one and I'm hoping uh, no I haven't I'm just going to grab a purple layer everything set there we go I'm going to grab a purple layer. Now when I see these two colours together, it always reminds me of Wimbledon. Because that used to be the Wimbledon colours. Hi Brenda. Don't worry. Hi Sandra. I hope you've had a chance to look through the catalogue, Brenda. 
<laughs> and for um, anybody that's been a customer of mine for um, class in a box or place an order if you didn't do class in a box for April then a copy of the, your catalogue is on its way to you okay so that's going to be my layers there with that one on top so a complete change from this which is the one I did yesterday with the same stamp set so I'm going to use a base white card that I've already prepared so I'm going to pop this purple layer on next Oops. so I'm just grabbing glue from my coffee and card bag I'm trying to work out which has got the most glue in it maybe this one so a scribble of glue pop that onto there This is going to go on next and I can obviously decide at this point if there's one I like better than the other I can rotate it round. But obviously they should be almost identical. I could also wrap some ribbon round the middle of that if I wanted to. I'm just going to put that layer onto there. So it's about two and a half millimetres gap because each of my layers is five millimeters between each layer in total so this is going to go onto there and i have some gorgeous great ribbon that i'm going to use <laughs> that's okay Babsy I hope you're well that's the main thing so just a little bit of ribbon to thread through here this is from one of our tailored tags dies and we also have a really nice new set of stylish shapes that has squares circles and banners and we also have some deckle edged shapes as well. So if you're not very good at cutting layers, the deckled edge allows you to die cut them, start with, with a soft um, edge. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, not very often that my home phone goes with a sales call, of course. All right, so just making a little bow, little being the slightly operative word. You can see the ends of it. One. I do love our organza ribbons. Ribbons. So we have some new glitter ribbon for our in colours and coordinating in colour dots. There we go. So that's going to go onto there, like so. Hopefully you can see that. Just going to grab some dimensionals for it. Oh, I don't want mini ones. There we go. Hi, Isabel. 
I hope you're feeling better. I know it's been a little while since we were communicated, but I hope you're better anyway. Okay. So, just popping these up on dimensionals. And I could do this at an angle, but what I want to do is really cover that gap to make it look like it's all one big sort of bouquet. And there we go. It's not very straight, is it? I don't think. Does it lift it up? Oh, it's going to look a bit. There we go. That's better. So there's my finished card. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just bring the light back in. Now I've moved everything else out of the way. So there we go. So that's using our bottled happiness stamp set. Using these two pieces here, which I set up on the Stamparatus, so that you can literally <coughs> stamp the flower, stamp the greenery, turn the card round, stamp the flower, stamp the greenery, and you're good to go. Hi Julie, thank you for your comments, that's lovely. It is really pretty, isn't it? So this is in Gorgeous Grape. Um, this one that I started at the same time was in our two of our new in colours. So Orchid Oasis and then the Parakeet Party. And this one will get the same treatment, basically. So I've got a piece of Orchid Oasis card that that will go on to. And then I'll add a sentiment across the middle again. And then a little bit of ribbon and that will get uh, mounted up. I could add a little of the detail across the end of here. But I quite like it with that white space actually on there. Um, and obviously you can add some bling to that. So... I've got the in colour bling here. So all of the items I'm able to show you now are available to order and are in stock. So here's the two colours. So I'm going to use just the small dots. Oh, I could. Hmm. I'm going to put it outside because if you put it in the middle, you do tend to lose it a little bit. So one, two. Now I'm not going to have my sentiment there, aren't I? So maybe I'll put one up here, like so. So those are our in colour dots, and they are ombre, so they go light to dark, and obviously they're well used so far. I should have ordered some more on today's order, and of course I didn't. But never mind, that's the way it goes. So that's going to go onto there, and then I'll add a die cut onto the top. Let me just see if I've got a die cut to hand that I can use. And then I'll just, um, for those that want to, I'll just talk you through our in colour club and how that um, operates. That's a little bit too big, that's a little bit too small. And also our paper shares. Now, as I said before, uh, I'm just waiting on some of the paper shares to come in. Because we obviously weren't able to order all of them to start with. So, as soon as I get the extra papers, I will show you. No, nothing jumping out of me. That's the right shape I think I want another tag like I have it's a bit too big as is that hmm. okay 
not to worry I will finish that one um, shortly okay so that is today's project so if you've um, had enough just watching the crafting that's absolutely fine hi Scylla and hi Claire that is our finished design as I say put popped on the stamparatus makes it really easy just to repeat that process so you could literally um, spend an evening just adding different colors um, stamping them and then adding sentiments as and when you're ready will make a nice wedding invitation I think personally or a nice thank you card so that is bottled happiness and let me just talk you through the options that we have available for our paper shares first of all so obviously you can buy any of the papers in the new catalogue and they are, you can find them dotted around but they're also in one place which is on page 130 to 135. This is all of the papers. You may know that the photographs don't do them justice because you really need to see the papers um, personally I think. Um, like this hues of happiness is absolutely stunning um, I have that if you want to see it but if you want a little bit of everything then you can take advantage of my paper shares they are 35 pounds and you get a quarter of each of these packs so you get a little bit of everything you get the specialty ones as well as the standard ones you have two that are six for six and the rest are um, they are 12 by 12s but I cut them down to six by 12 just going to grab one to show you let me get it out okay I'm only going to show you one because otherwise we'll be here all night so this is hues of happiness now appreciate you can't see all of that detail um, that i can see but there's 12 sheets and obviously they're florals and the set that goes with this also has dies that cut the designs out of the paper not this particular paper but some of the other ones we have this one here with daisies in different colours we have this one here with larger flowers and again different colours and then this one with starry sky background or well, it might be night of navy actually and then this one here this is the one that has the dyes that match those flowers so you can cut those out manually or you can cut them out with the dies and the same with this one so those are the fronts of the sheets that I would say and then on the reverse we have some little crisscross designs we have these fabulous sort of watercolour artistic painted backgrounds this one here with flowers and then more of this oh i am popular today Goodness me. sorry about that then we have this one and then this one so very aptly named hues of happiness so that's just one of the pack of papers so you get um, a quarter of a pack of all 12 sheets of papers and that's 35 pounds if you can collect from me then there's no postage charge but if you want them posted out to you I can do that and that will be £3.50 it needs to go into a um, large A4 box to do that 
so that is one option our in colour sorry our paper shares and then we have our in colour club now all of this information is coming out on email so if you're on my email list you'll have this so you can um, look at it in more detail and basically the in colour club allows you to build up your supply of our in colour products so that is our blends pens it is our inks so our stamp and light markers our cardstock ribbon glimmer paper designer paper um and blends pens and cardstock i think i said everything so there's eight different items and each month you can either choose to have for example all of the ink pads and then all of the pens next month or you can have them by colour. So you could choose Orchid Oasis one month and you'll have all of the Orchid Oasis items. It's entirely up to you. So that is £30 a month for five months. You need to pay up front at the beginning of the month and then order the items and send that out to you. That includes postage. If you order the complete collection, so that is everything, five months worth, then that is £150. But you'll get a free pack of five rolls of in colour baker's twine and that's worth £14, so about 10% on top of what you're getting. So that's our in colour club. And then finally, another way of getting in colours is to join our team if you're not already a demonstrator. And assuming you're based in the UK when you're watching this, obviously this doesn't apply. You can't join my team outside of the UK or Europe, I'm afraid. Um, and the same obviously goes for the other products. But for £99, this month only, you'll get £192.50 worth of products. And that is £130 worth of your choice and £62.50 worth of in color products and for those in color products you'll get the grid paper the ink pads the designer series paper and the card the a4 card so if any of those are of interest look out in your inboxes for my email and i'm going to wrap up there because i've taken up enough of your time just to show you again, this is the card we made this evening using the Bottled Happiness. This does have a punch and it also has some little domes that match this bottle. So once my um, parcel arrives with those in it, I'll show you a stepped up version with the punch. But in the meantime, tomorrow I'll show you something with the um, bottles on their own. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have um, hope you have a good evening. Um, good morning for those that are watching either on Catch Up Replay or from another part of the world. I really appreciate you joining me today. If you have any questions about what I've covered, what I've shown you or anything about how I've crafted, then don't hesitate to message me um, or contact me and I'll do my best to help you thank you so much everybody i hope you have a good evening i'm off to check that benjamin katz is exactly where he should be <laughs> thanks so much everybody i will be back tomorrow wednesday um cat permitting at 10 a.m look forward to crafting with you then thank you so much <laughs> bye everyone goodbye